listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnishas out there in Gwinnett Land and all of my friends around the world. It's a rainy day here in Georgia, baby. It is raining, 74 degrees, going up to a high of 83 and rain. It's going to rain all day, supposed to taper off around 3 o'clock this afternoon with a 15% chance of continuous rain. So it's raining. Let me tell y'all, I woke up this morning like, thank God I don't have to go out this house today to a meeting. However, that being said, I'm going to make a real strong effort to go into my office starting next week. I do have an office, y'all, a physical office with a desk and a chair and a computer that I never go into. It's so crazy, but I'm going to go in next week. But I can tell you right now, had I woke up this morning and I needed to go to the office the way it was pouring down, yep, I would have been right in my home office doing what I do. But anyway, rainy day here in Georgia, but that's okay. We won't let the rain stop us. Not today, not ever. And some, you know, it's so crazy because with everything that's going on in Hawaii right now, Man, they probably could use some rain because I, I, I know that they, they have been taking a beating. I think some people lost their lives, so my condolences go out to the families affected by the fires and lo- those who have lost loved ones due to the fires over in Maui. So let's keep them up in prayer, y'all, because everybody knows Hawaii is beautiful, but it must have been really dry and, you know, the winds and all that kind of stuff. And so... um yeah, they they're they're taking it bad over there, taking it bad. So let's we're gonna keep them up in prayer, <clears throat> keep the families up in prayer that, that have lost loved ones, keep the people up in prayer that probably have lost so much. It was to the point where they said people was jumping into the ocean to avoid the fires. So where do you go after that? Like you're in the middle of the ocean in Hawaii and it's fires on land. So where do you go? It was it was it just sounds so bad. I didn't even want to look at it because I just stuff like that does something to me physically. Like when I see certain things, it physically affects me. So I try not, that's why I don't hardly ever talk about bad news on here because I'm physically affected by bad news. I don't want to be, it's just the way it is. So anyway, prayers going out to Hawaii right now. Um, yeah, prayers going out. All right. Today is, today is Thursday. It is Thursday, y'all. It's August the 10th. It's crazy because time is flying, but it's Thursday, August 10th, time is flying. It's also National Lazy Day. Listen, with this rain, people probably really do want to be lazy. I woke up today very energized, not feeling lazy at all. Yesterday, I felt very icky. Like, I was in was ick. I was was in ick mode. Today, I feel great. Sometimes I have those days. I'm human. I am. Um, It's also National Spoil Your Dog, Dog Day. So, listen, most people who got dogs, they love their dogs. They spoil them anyway. They love their dogs and they spoil them anyway. Um, a bye day, a bye day, a, a grab a bye. I can't say the last of it is a poetry book and celebrates a bye day. And cause Kazakhstan, <laughs> Kazakhstan, cause I'm just probably messing it up. And that's something in Kazakhstan. That's what it says. Kazakhstan. Yeah, I'm probably messing that up. Um, a sin of St. Dominic day, a sin of St. Dominic day, Duran Duran appreciation day. Ecuador Independence Day, um, Herbert Hoover Day, um, yeah, I guess that was his birthday, he was the 31st president of the United States, I guess today is Herbert, Herbert Hoover's birthday, International Biodiesel Day, National Connecticut Day, shout out to all the Connecticut, Connecticutans, Connecticut, Connection. yeah, I'm messing that up too, because I'm making that up, so I'm really messing that up, National S'mores Day, National Mary. So if your name is Mary, shout out to all the Marys in the world. National Dean Day. If your name is Dean, shout out to all the Deans in the world. National Shapewear Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, don't get that body magic like I had and can't breathe. Um, National Ski Citrus Soda Day. Ski Citrus Soda. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Um, update your bio day. I need to do that for real because I have to send my bio out to two companies where I'm speaking and I have not done that. So that's definitely on my agenda today. Yes. Update my bio day. I have to do that. Um, Alicia Bellamy's birthday. Happy birthday, Alicia Bellamy. World Lion Day. Happy birthday, World Lion. Blogging day. So if you blog, knock yourself out. I'm a blogger. Um, Chris Merrick's birthday. Happy birthday, Chris Merrick. Jacob Lattimore's birthday, happy birthday, Jacob Lattimore. Kylie Jenner's birthday, happy birthday, Kylie Jenner. Um, Sonny Seljic's birthday, happy birthday, Sonny Seljic. And Macy Bookout's birthday. 
Her name is Book Out. Makey Book Out. Wow. Okay, that's different. Happy birthday. These are your national days and and, and birthdays for the day, name days for the day. We're going to keep this train rolling. We're going to get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Mike a Thousand for today, Thursday, August the 10th. We're going to kick it off like we always do, and that is with Aries. Get friends to help you with the preparations. Be tactful in, if you see flaws in someone else's work. Be careful not to hurt the ones you love. All right, listen, you may see some flaws, Aries, but that doesn't mean you have to point them out publicly. So if you see flaws, pull the person to the side and say, look, this is what I see. Because here's the thing. Some people do stuff to be to be facetious, right? And, and that's not a good thing. You don't have to do that. If you see a flaw, tell a person, hey, you might want to go check this out. Be tactful about it. You ain't got to say it in front of everybody to try to embarrass the person because that's not nice. You wouldn't want that nobody to do that to you. So don't do that to anybody else today, Aries, okay? Karma is a mother freaker. I'm just going to say it like that. Taurus, you need to take a break from the ones you love. Uh-oh. Be professional and you will advance much more quickly. Be careful while traveling. All right, so why do you need to take a break from the ones you love, uh, Taurus? Are they getting on your nerves? That happens. Sometimes you just need a minute by yourself. And, and, and nothing, it may not be anything. You just need a minute. Like, I need a minute to myself. I get, I get those minutes sometimes. So you just, and, and nobody has done anything. I just need to not be... In a headspace, I just need to be by myself for a second just to rethink things. And when I'm like that, like that, I woke up this morning, I'm in a great space, but I'm by myself all day today. And so I know that I got things that I need to do that I need to get done, like update my bio and send it over to the conference people so they can put it out everywhere it needs to go out. So sometimes you just need to be like Satars, and that's okay. You don't have to apologize for that. Just take a minute for yourself. As a matter of fact, take two. Gemini, take the time to do something nice for your friends and relatives. Offer good conversation and a nice soothing lunch. That sounds delicious. Make career changes that may increase your income. That sounds great too. Speaking of income, listen, I'm the president of the BUILT, which stands for Black United and Leading Technology Metro Atlanta chapter. So we cover Fulton County, Gwinnett County, Rockdale County, DeKalb County, Cobb County. Those are the counties that I'm over. There's a program when you become a member of BUILT, they offer all of these different scholarships and things like that for you to take these classes so you can learn how to do um, cybersecurity. And cybersecurity, I was doing some research, cybersecurity is is pretty doggone good, y'all. And you can get in at the entry level making about $60,000, entry level not knowing a doggone thing except for the training courses that you've gone through. And you can advance up to two, three $300,000. So you may want to look into the tech space, Gemini, if you're trying to make some career changes that could increase your income. And trust me, you could go up high, high. You know, I was telling my daughter, she's an IT engineer, I'm like, girl, you need to look at cybersecurity. Because she may be, and I'm going to tell her again today, because she probably could be able to do part of that in her job. You know, she likes, she's a troubleshooter. She's very focused on stuff, and she's a troubleshooter, a problem solver. Um, But I feel like she's missing some opportunities there, and I got to tell her. I got to remember to tell her that. All right, Cancer, you will have no problems getting along with your clients. They will not have the patience to wait for you to complete things that ha- that they've asked you to do. You can learn a great deal more if you listen rather than rant and rave. Shut your mouth today, Cancer. Listen. You need to just listen and not rant and rave. Because cause, cause the answer that you're seeking is in the listening. So be quiet, be still, and just listen. That's what you got to do today. All right? All right. Leo, you may find yourself changing crowds. Too much talk will lead to disputes. You, this was a, it's a quiet day today. You will be in the mood to socialize. All right, look, you are in the mood to socialize, but I don't know about that crowd you've been hanging out with, Leo. I don't know. You might want to check that because you may need some new friends. I don't, and I'm just talking. Check your crowd though. The, the stars are saying you might need to change your crowd. You want to socialize, but do you want to socialize with that same bunch? I made a decision this morning. I got up this morning. I thought about some things. There was a there was an event that I host once a month. I was like, I'm not doing that anymore. It's a waste of my time. You know, doing it for the people. The people don't show up. It's a waste of my time. It's a waste of my time. So you may want to figure out, you know, is that a waste of your time with that group you're socializing with right now? You might want to change your crowd. So find a new group and go socializing it today. Virgo, close deals that have been up in the air and move on to new ones that appear to be profitable. You need to be sure that you aren't in your present relationship because it is convenient. Don't let anyone take credit for a job you did. Virgo, why are you there? Are you there because it's comfortable? Because, you know, a lot of times we stay places because it's comfortable. We don't like change. It's convenient. All of these things. 
Here's the thing. None of those things are going to bring you, bring you happiness. If you did Virgo because it's convenient for you, trust me when I tell you, you would not be happy. Now, if you're happy, that's one thing. But if it's just a relationship or a place to be for convenience, oh, baby, you won't be that happy. I'm just saying true happiness is on the other side of you moving out of your comfort zone. Let me say that again. True happiness is on the other side of you moving out of your comfort zones. Give up convenience and go find yourself. All right. I feel like I was ending the show right there, but I'm not. But I am going to a song. I'll be right back after this song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thyssen. Stay tuned. Time's been moving slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Carry teasing all day, and when the sun sets, you asking me to come through, kick it with you. Night turn to morning dew. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the Delhi Horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thyssen. We're going to pick up with Libra. Problems with appliances or electrical gadgets will drive you crazy. You have a working relationship with children if you exercise patience and understanding of the dilemmas they face. Um, not everyone will be pleased with your plans. Here's the thing. They're your plans, Libra. So they don't have to be pleased. You ain't got to explain nothing to nobody. Those are your plans and not everybody's going to be pleased. That's their problem. Let them figure it out. You go on and do your thing. All right, Scorpio, you can make new friends and experience new things if you do a bit of traveling. Use your inventiveness to find solutions. Elders may need your help. All right, listen, you got some you got some solutions in there, but you got to invent something. All right, you got to be strategic. You got to think outside the box, Scorpio. Use your inventiveness to find solutions because here's the thing. If there's a problem and you can help find a solution to that problem, you may be coming into a payday, baby. I'm just saying. I'm just, I was on the phone this morning helping somebody work through some stuff because if I because if I can help them, that becomes a that becomes a client for me. So if you know how to solve some problems and the problems is a prevalent problem, you could that could be a payday. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Elders gonna need your help, so help them out. Help out your elders. 
Sagittarius, don't allow personal problems to conflict with professional duties. You must be careful not to ignore the needs of the youngsters in your family. Family get-togethers will be interesting. Okay, what's going on in your house? What's going? Listen, I was talking to my uncle yesterday. We had on so my uncle and I had a great talk. Like after the show yesterday, we went down memory lane together. You know, I was I was a little girl when he was like a teenager, and so we had. But I remember I remember a lot of stuff. Like I remember the neighbors by my grandmother's house, and and we went down memory lane, and we were talking about <clears throat> we were just talking about family and things and stuff like that. It was interesting. So, you know, but we were talking about how the family is kind of scattered right now. Like, it's scattered. It ain't kind of scattered. My family is scattered all over the place. And I said to him, we're going to his sister's house, his baby sister. We're going to die house for Thanksgiving. Like, that's what we're doing. He was like, okay. Normally, he'd give me pushback. He didn't give me. I was like, you can't be home by yourself. We're going to we're going to die house for Thanksgiving. So, yeah, I like family gatherings. I miss them a lot because we haven't, since my mom passed away, it's just been kind of just all over the place. And so... That was a little, and Thanksgiving was her thing thing. Like Thanksgiving and Christmas, the 4th of July, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Those were her holidays. Like she loved them holidays. She celebrated them all the time in a big, big way. And we haven't had, we had one big 4th of July celebration at my brother's house last year. And then he canceled this year. He didn't want to do it. Next year I'm going to, I'm going to the Essence Festival. So I was like, well, next year I ain't, ain't going to worry about him going to Essence Festival. This year the country, we starting a new tradition. I'm going to my aunt's house for Thanksgiving. So that's what it is. We're going to take the three hour ride to Albany, Georgia, go hang out at the bottom of the Benny and have Thanksgiving with my aunt. She likes to cook though. That carrot cake, man. Oh my God. She, that's the only carrot cake I'll eat. So I can't wait. Uh, Capricorn, develop some of your good ideas. Your emotions may get the better of you. Entertainment should include sports, events, or physical activities. Yeah, you got some good ideas, Capricorn, but you got to develop them. Right, you can't be afraid to develop your ideas. Develop them and then see what you want to do. Yeah, develop them. You know, your emotions are gonna get the better of you. You're gonna be a little bit emotional today, so try to try to keep it together. Try to keep it together. And then, if you're trying to do something in the entertainment space, it should include sports or physical activities. I woke up this morning thinking about bowling. Like we start bowling, I think on the 18th. Looking forward to it. So looking forward to bowling again because I, I literally, that was one of my forms of exercise, right? That That's the day I got in so many steps because because you have to walk a lot when you bowl. So I will almost, almost always hit my goal on Thursdays, which is, which is when I bowl because I'm I'm bowling. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to tell my husband we need to go practice this week because he asked me, we're not going to practice. I think I'm going to tell him we need to go practice this week, this weekend, probably Sunday. Um, Aquarius, real estate and joint venture, joint financial ventures will be profitable. Look into alternatives that will better suit both your needs. Opportunities will unfold. Will unfold. However, you must be willing to pay the price. Ooh, ooh. you're going to have some opportunities, Aquarius. And Aquarius is kind of cheap. So you're going to have some opportunities, but you got to be willing to pay the price. It may not be money. It may be time, maybe relationships, but you got to look, look, pay attention to the opportunity do your due diligence on the opportunity before you start paying the price. That's all I'm going to say about that one. All right, last but not least, my fellow fish, Pisces. Uh-oh, romance will unfold through business trips. All right, now, fish, be careful. You can get solid advice from relatives or close friends you trust. It may be, it might be time to pick up the slack and do your share. All right, slacker, which one of you have been slacking? I don't know. In the meantime, romance could unfold through business trips. Now, listen here, fish. Let me just say this. I ain't going nowhere, so that don't pertain to me. Um, and, and I'm married, so that's another thing. That's another thing. I was just about to say, now, I, it's okay if you're single. Do your thing. Let romance happen. But if you're in a situation, I don't know about that one. Be careful. Don't listen. Don't be going out there having no situation ships on no business trips and you're in a situation ship already. I'm just saying. Yeah, you might want to seek some good advice, some solid advice from family and friends that you trust. I'm just trying to listen. All right? All right, that's all the, all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back on Monday to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thyssen. Let's get on to some news you can use. And we had some power outages. <clears throat> we Because we we've been having crazy weather. You know, they had power outages um, around Show Circle, Cotton Patch Road, New Hope Road, and Herbie Hayes, North Clayton Street, Highway 20. And I think that right now, um, the outages have been um, restored. But we had some now. It's crazy weather. I wouldn't be surprised if we had more power outages. It's just nuts. Like, this, the weather is crazy. 
You know what I'm saying? So we had some, those have been restored. So thank goodness for that because who, who wants to live without power? I know. Can you imagine? Can you, can you, well, how do we live y'all? Like, how do we really live when, when, you know, back in, I guess, I guess you can't miss what you never had. So back when there was no power and you had to just figure out how to make it work, they made it work. They did. And here we are today because of it. The city of Lilburn is actively um, planning its future by updating comprehensive, the comprehensive plan. They want you to share your thoughts on ways to improve housing, enhance transportation, determine future land use, <clears throat> spur economic development, preserve green space, and more in Lilburn. So they want to hear from you. They said their goal, the goal um, with the Lilburn comprehensive plan is to establish a blueprint for the for ways Lilburn's uh, for ways Lilburn grows and thrives for years to come. Throughout this effort, the city's existing goals may be updated and possible new goals established based on the future, um, based on public feedback. So they want you to, they want your input. If you want to give your input, there are some links that you can go. So here it is. It's called Small Town Big Plans. You can go to publicinput.com forward slash small town big plans publicinput.com forward slash small town big plans publicinput.com forward slash small town big plans so Lil Burn, they want to hear from you they don't want you to wait to the last minute and then 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 you go out there and, and it's a problem they want to hear from you now so leave your comments go go put your input there they want to hear from you all right all right all right, I'm going to go to a song I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County stay tuned
Welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So, um, the first class of the Gwinnett County Public School Teachers attended an orientation um, for the new Georgia State STEM Education Master's Program. I think that's really, really important. It's an online program that's going to allow teachers to develop their skill STEM knowledge. So for those of you who don't know what STEM is, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And so... You know, there are a lot of teachers who want to know this because they need to be able to better equip our, our kids. And so I think this is pretty doggone cool that this is being offered to them. So 25 of our teachers here in Gwinnett County will be take partaking in that program, which I think is really good. So um, that's a part of a, a partnership between Georgia State University, uh, College of Education and Human Development, and Gwinnett County Public Schools. So 25 of the... 25 teachers will be going into that, that master's program and they're going to be able to learn about, about STEM. We need it. Like we need to make sure that they know here's why, because technology is not going anywhere. If you have not been paying attention, if you've been on a rock somewhere, or you just think that it's, it's one of them things is going to pass. AI is, is, is killing it right now. And it's very scary, especially for those who don't, who are going to get left behind. I know people don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. And I'm saying you need to know our kids need to know the kids are smart. Now they probably know more than the teachers already because they're smart. Um, the Georgia state STEM education master's program combines knowledge and skills from various STEM disciplines so that teachers and their students can benefit from a well-rounded and holistic approach to STEM education. This online program allows teachers to further develop their STEM content knowledge and implement standards-based curriculum at the middle and secondary school level. So congratulations to the 25 teachers that were selected. I know you're going to be a wonderful, wonderful, that's going to be a wonderful, wonderful asset to our children because they need it. They need to know what's happening. Do you understand what I'm saying? They need to know. All right, let's keep this train rolling. You want to do some karaoke tomorrow, 6.30. If it's not raining, I think I'm really going to try to go to karaoke tomorrow. Downtown um, Lawrenceville at the Gwinnett Historic uh, Courthouse, they're going to be doing karaoke, Court, courthouse karaoke. Tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. That's located at 185 West Krogan Street, downtown Lawrenceville. Now, if you want to sing, you got to register to put your name on the list. So courthouse karaoke to, is going to be downtown Lawrenceville tomorrow. If you want to sing, if you think you got the, you know, the chops to do karaoke, I want to go to that. So I think I'm going to go. I really do. Cause I like, I did, I've done karaoke before. Do I think I can sing? Uh, uh-uh. absolutely do not think I can sing. However, I do like karaoke. I'm just saying. Okay. Cops and cones, police and civilian motorcycle rodeo is going down Saturday morning. Saturday, it's going down Saturday morning at 10 a.m. August the 12th at the Gwinnett County Fairgrounds, 2405 Sugarloaf Parkway. Competition starts at 10 a.m. On-site food trucks is happening, so it's a it's a motorcycle rodeo. I wonder what that's about. Sounds interesting. Now, that is right down the street from me. I may go down there just to take some pictures and stuff or to do some live streaming. That's a good idea. All right, anyway, get ready to feel the rumble, witness the skills, and be part of the motorcycle rodeo that will ignite your passion for high-octane thrills. Join the Lawrenceville Police Department on August the 12th at the Gwinnett County Fairgrounds for the first motorcycle rodeo at 10 a.m. This event is free and will showcase an, an exhibition uh, course that features speed competition, slow ride, precision course for top performers, which comes, uh, come watch and, and highly skilled civilians and police motorcyclists as they test their skills and spirited in a spirited competition. 10 o'clock on Saturday. Yes, yes, yes. That's pretty cool. The proceeds from the event will benefit special needs and treats. Yep. That's, that's a pretty doggone good thing. Yep. So check that out. That sounds like a lot of fun. That's going to be at the, at the Gwinnett County Fairground. Again, that's located at 2405 Sugarloaf Parkway and it starts Saturday morning at 10 a.m. So if you want to go check out the, the motorcycle rodeo, it's going down. All right. The National Council of Negro Women Gwinnett Section presents the inaugural of the Black Family Reunion. That's going down Saturday as well. Saturday at 12 p.m. Rain or shine is happening, baby. The Black Family Reunion. That's happening. That's going to be located at Rose Jordan Park, 100 Krogan Street. Um, so if you want to be a part of that, the Gwinnett, uh, the National Negro Council Women's Section will present the inaugural Black Family Reunion taking place at Rose Jordan Park Saturday, August the 12th, featuring business sponsors and community partners with the area within the area Bryn Bryn church uh christian church uh gwinnett Northside hospital think twice institute eagle security services kinship Ken, kinship connect Publix, kroger and the gwinnett county community outreach division have partnered with the ncnw 
uh, Gwinnett to bring this family fellowship together for the residents of Gwinnett County. So the Black Family Union um, is taking, is going down, is going down. So that's going to be this Saturday from 12 to 5 at Rose Jordan Park, located at 100 East Krogan Street. So if you want to attend that, by all means do. That sounds like a lot of fun as well. I'll probably stop through there as well once I leave the rodeo. So I'll go to the rodeo first, make my rounds on Saturday rodeo first, and then I'll shoot. Now I'm saying this now, right? I'm saying all this stuff right now, and by the time Saturday comes, I'm like, hey, I don't feel like doing none of that. I'm just saying because I'd be tired. Saturday is my day off. And if I go to the rodeo and to the Black Family Reunion, I'm probably going to be working, taking pictures, shooting videos. That's probably what's going to be happening. Um, taxes and retirement seminar is happening on August the 16th and the 22nd. I wanted to put this out there early. So just in case next Wednesday, um, the tax and financial rules have changed. So if you want to know more about taxes and, 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 um, and, and retirement, this is a great opportunity for you to do that. That's going to be happening at the Cula Park activity building located at 2735 Auburn Avenue in Decula. That's next Wednesday at 6 30 PM. So if you want to be a part of that, you can register, um, to be a part of that. So, you know, um, it's important that you understand taxes. Things have changed. Now it is a, uh, 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 if you don't understand, you might want to understand. So it's 6 30 to 8 30 PM. You can go to the patch.com to find out more information there. Cause it's right there on the patch, um, and register, register for the event so they can know about it. It's going to be at the Decula park activity building. Again, that's located at 2735 old Auburn Avenue located in Decula. And it's 6.30 to, to 9, 6.30 to 8.30. All right? Get your questions answered. Get your questions answered. Got tax questions? Get them answered. Yes. Um, On Saturday, no, on Friday, 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 Coffee House Karaoke Game Night. That sounds nice. So um, it's going down. So you like karaoke and you like games, 7, to, 7, p, 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. It's going to be at Unity Church, Atlanta. That's located at 3597 Parkway Lane and Peachtree Corner. So if you like karaoke and you want to do games, that sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. If you have questions, you can contact Barbara, um, Reverend Barbara Hoffman. Her number is 770-596-6663. Her name is Reverend Barbara Huffman. Her number is 770-596-6663. This is a friendly event. It will also feature a potluck dinner. So if you want to do some karaoke and fun, you can do that. Yes. Yes. They're going to be singing karaoke and playing games, small groups, house, uh, uh, joining in a house of song. So that sounds like, sounds like it can be fun. So unity church Friday at seven 30 unity church is located at 3597 parkway lane in Peachtree corner. So if you want to go out and sing karaoke on Friday night, knock yourself out. All right, Saturday morning, it's going down. The Forum at, Peach, the forum at Peachtree Corners is going down. The 10th Annual 4-Mile Glow Run and 1,000 Twilight Trot. 1K Twilight Trot. Don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. So the Light Up uh, light up the Corners Glow Run. That's happening this coming Saturday at 10 a.m. Um, it's in Peachtree Corners. So if you want to be a part of that, you can go take part in that. It's 10 o'clock at Peachtree Corners at the Forum. Um, the Glow Up is called the, uh, it's a race. It's a race and it's happening. Light up. That's a cute website, y'all. And the logo is beautiful. That's because I like purple and green. So it's light up the corners, August the 12th. And that's located at the Peachtree Forum. That looks like fun, though. That's happening Saturday, too. It's so much stuff happening Saturday. So you got the Twilight Trot, Trot 1K. Um, that starts at 8 p.m. that night. But the glow up, the glow up starts early in the morning. That sounds like so much fun. So go lightupthecorners.com, lightupthecorners.com to register. You can register. They got team registration. Um, all of that stuff is going down. Check it out. I think that's going to be fun. That looks like fun. It's pretty too. Like the logo is gorgeous. I don't know who did that logo, but I love it. I love the logo. Somebody did a great job on that. You know, I'm a marketing person. So I'm looking at the logo like that is cute. Shout out to whoever did the logo because I think that's cute. All right, I think that's all I got for y'all today. Like, I really do. I think that's all I got. Um, I'll be back again. I'm going to go to a song. Then I'm going to come back and give you my words of inspiration for today. So stay tuned. I'll be right back after this song.
welcome back. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my words of inspiration. It's really simple. Turn your wounds into wisdom. Ooh, I'm going to say that again. Turn your wounds into wisdom. Got to tell you a quick story. So last night we did our potluck. So the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce does a potluck every month. And we did it last night. And we had a guest. Like we Normally it's the same people that come to stuff over and over again. I don't know what that's about, but it is. But last night we had a couple of guests. We had like three guests last night. And um, we uh, when the young lady came in, her name was Heather. She was an insurance agent with State Farm. And she was telling me her story. She um, she had her first, she was married at 13. Uh, was it 16? No, I think she said she, she's been on her own since she was 13. She got married at 16, had her first child. She has seven kids. One of her children has um, diabetes and can't get life insurance, right? And, I, and when she was talking to me, it was just, it was just so profound. Like I didn't, I hadn't even thought like this. Right. So Heather said one of her children, he's, I think he's like 24, 26. He has a medical condition that will allow him, that will make him eligible to get life insurance. So in her mind, she was like, well, he can't get life insurance. I need to have something in place. So if something should ever happen to him, God forbid, you know, his children won't go without. So she bought two cars, Two like Impalas, like 1953, I think she said, and a 57. And so if if you know anything about cars, Impalas and cars from the 50s and the 30s and the 40s, they hold a lot of value, right? They may not look cute to drive around in, but they hold a lot of value. I wish I had had my father's, uh, uh, my, my father had a Dodge. We call it a Super B. It was a yellow car. It had a black stripe, a stripe across the back and had a B on it. And we called it a Super B. I wish I had that car right now. Who would have thought that a car would be worth so much money. So she said each one of those cars are worth about $65,000. So because he does not have life insurance, if something should happen to him, she will be able to sell the cars and get the money from the cars to take care of what she needs to take care of. Now I thought that was Jean's thinking. And it was, it was like, but her pain, like she went through. So like she told her story and I said to her, do you tell this story often? Because that was wounds for her, you know, those are wounds, but she has turned those wounds into wisdom. And she was sharing that with me. And I was so appreciative of that because I had never thought about what she was saying, the way she was saying it. And, you know, here's the thing. I'm always willing to learn from people, always, always, always willing to learn from people. And I thought her story was amazing. She was an insurance agent. She has a big family that she obviously loved and she thinks outside of the box. That's outside of the box thinking to me. Like to say, you know what? I need to put this in place for my son. He can't get life insurance. Because let me tell you what happens, right? And she's an insurance agent. I have an insurance license. Here's what happens. We go out there. We try to tell people about the importance of insurance, right? And they just think we're trying to sell them insurance. And for me, that's frustrating. For people like her, she says she loves it. It frustrates the heck out of me. So I don't do it very often. Not often at all. But for her, it's, 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 it's life-saving. Because here's the thing. It's life changing. Here's the thing. If you don't have life insurance, right? What happens? Now you got to sell t-shirts before the funeral. Who knows how that's going to go? You got to set up a GoFundMe before the funeral. Who knows how that's going to go? Or you have to cremate and you really didn't want to. Cause that's what normally happens. You selling, you having fish dinners, you selling t-shirts, you're doing GoFundMe, you collect the money from all the family members. You don't want that to happen. And see, she thought outside of the box because she said, you know what? He's not eligible to get life insurance, but I need to make sure if something happens, there's a little something. And she bought these two cars and they're worth $65,000 each. And I thought that was so freaking, that was smart. But she turned her wound into wisdom and she's imparting that on her family. And she shared it with me. So I want to thank Heather for sharing that with me. So my, 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 my question to you is, what are you wounded by that you can actually turn into wisdom? That's the question for you. All right. All right. Listen, I got to go y'all, but I want to thank you for, for spending some time with me. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 43 minutes with me. And I love and appreciate you for that. Today is Thursday, but check this out. Be, be sure to go to the website and find out about our streaming live tomorrow. We do video streaming on Friday. Go to Good Morning Gwinnett and, and subscribe to the live stream. It's the Friday morning mingle. We, it goes down every Friday morning at 10 o'clock. Tomorrow will be 1030 because I got the breakfast. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, if you are in the Lawrenceville area tomorrow, we're going to be doing our breakfast club, the Gwinnett Business uh, Breakfast Club. It's happening tomorrow. We do business over breakfast. We're going to be at the Peace Street Cafe located at 30 South Clayton Street, downtown Lawrenceville, 8 o'clock. Be there or be square. And let me say this. The breakfast has been filling up for the last three or four months. So you want to make sure 
that you're in attendance because you may not get a seat at the table. You can have a seat on the sideline, but if you're late, you probably won't get a seat at the table because that's what's been happening. So tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., we'll be at the Peace Street Cafe located at 30 South Clayton Street, downtown Lawrenceville for our breakfast club. We talk business over breakfast, all right? Um, be sure to tune in tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. to listen to, to watch the Friday morning mingle. Me and the ladies of the Gwinnett Women's Chamber, we get together on Friday morning. We talk business. We talk life. It's all about what we do as entrepreneurs. So be sure to tune in to that tomorrow, okay? All right. That's all I got for you. I'll be back again Monday for this show, Monday at 10 a.m., God willing. You guys stay safe out there. Have a wonderful weekend, wonderful weekend. Until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.